Secure Boot is not as secure as you think. Check this out. New hybrid Petya ransomware bypasses UEFI Secure Boot with a existing exploit. And this exploit is continuing to be a problem for folks. If you read this article, and there's a link in the description, so please check it out and let me know what you think. Essentially what's happening is these proof of concepts are actually sometimes in the wild. So meaning like if you have a system that's using Secure Boot, AKA probably just using Windows, consider that these things can actually bypass that. Secure Boot was essentially made in tandem with Microsoft for Windows that it says, okay, if I boot, I'm gonna make sure that the certificate that's actually signed correctly, so I can actually boot to make sure this bootloader is actually legit. This thing bypasses that saying, okay, I'm gonna ransom your entire hard drive. It's gonna encrypt your entire hard drive and ransom it. And it basically says, hey, send $1,000 in Bitcoin to a specific wallet address, and then we will actually unencrypt your hard drive. Ransomware is some scary stuff because unlike a regular virus that basically just causes havoc, this thing just wants to extract money and it could do this in mass. And this is a real problem. So if you run secure boot, really double check your settings because stuff like this is very, very scary. Let me know what you think.